Okay. So seriously, till today, I hope you have no problems naming any angle. Do you still have problem naming angles? Hello, are you listening? Yeah. Hey, Shermaine, are you listening or not? Yeah. Okay, so I say, Till today, you should not have problems naming angles. Are you clear? Uh, yeah. Okay, so number one, I'm going to look at this one by one. All right, I'm going to look at this one by one. Okay. Um, can you see my screen? Yeah. Mm, okay. Let me also um, bring up the, let me also bring up the, 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 the question because um because i want because your this your feet this figure right the, the figure you draw here um uh, doesn't doesn't look good at all so i want to follow the correct one send Mm, okay. Okay, this is also not good. Let me go to sharing. Okay. okay. I I I need you to be super focused here because um There are a few things I want you to take note, okay? Number one is the way you name the angles. Number two is what is you, because for question 10, are you looking at question 10 here? Yeah. Okay, good. So let me just crop it out. Okay, so I hope you can see question 10. Yeah. Okay. Let me get my writing pad. Oh. Okay, so the first question of question 10 is they ask for complementary angles. So what is yeah. your understanding of complementary angles? Complementary angles are 90 degrees. Yeah, okay. Um, the definition of complementary angles, strictly speaking, is they add to 90 degrees. Not 90 degrees. They add to 90 degrees. Are you clear? Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Do you know what's the difference between 90 degrees and they add to 90 degrees? 90 degrees and me is just like this right angle is just 90 degrees. Add up okay. to 90 degrees is mm -hmm. you've got two numbers that add up yes. to the 90 degrees. Oh, exactly. Yes. So I really want you to differentiate these two. Okay. So 90 degrees versus add to 90 degrees. Okay. So for 90 degrees, so basically this is just one angle, okay? This is just one angle. For this one, okay, it means it means you have two angles, okay? And they add to 90 degrees, okay? So these, these two differences, you have to differentiate. So with this understanding, question one, here, yeah. okay? So the first question we need to ask ourselves is, we need to find two angles, or we need to find complementary angle. So in this figure, are you looking at question 10? Are you looking, at, looking yeah. at question 10? Okay, if you look at this figure, can you tell me which, which angle is the add to 90 degrees in this question? Add to 90 degrees. Yeah, because we are looking for complementary angles, right? So we need to find which two angles add to 90 degrees in this question? So that we can answer part one. B, G, H. Okay, good. So B, G, H is one of, one of the answers, right? So that's why you, you can actually take out B, G, H. Can you see? B, G, H. So once you take out B, G, H, right? And yeah. Okay. In this question, let me just put this side by side. 
Okay, so in this question, you can see, right, BGH, and the BGH actually is split by this straight line, right? Am I right? Yeah. Can you tell? So what I'm trying to say is, so when you draw this BGH out, let me get it, sorry, when you draw this BGH out, in fact, it is, it is actually split by a, a line here, okay? So you have to draw this line out, okay? It's split by this line, okay? And, um, okay? Oh yeah. So it's split by this line and you need to draw this line, GA out. So once you have drawn this out, this is called step one. You extract, okay? You extract, you extract this out. You still remember the, 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 the few steps? Okay. Yeah. The first step is you extract it out. So once you extract it out, then you can see that, oh, yes, I have two angles here. And they add to 90 degrees. Am I right? Yeah. Ah, so therefore, these two angles, they are complementary angle. So now, step two is you need to name the two angles. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how do you name the two angles? In fact, pretty simple. This is always the mid. All right, you can choose this yeah. as the start. Again, you, you can choose this as the end, okay? Or another way is you cannot choose this, okay? Because we are looking at what? You cannot choose this as the end. Why? Because we are looking at which two angles? We're looking at these two angles, right? Angle one and angle two, right? Yeah. Mm, okay, so with this, so what you can have is so let's look at this angle one. So what is angle one in this case? So angle one is your angle. A. Can you see here? Can you see or not? Is it, okay, first thing first, is it big enough? If it's not big enough, you need to let me know. If it's big enough, I expect you to Answer the question straight away, fast. E, wait, is it, is it, angle one. A, A. Angle one is A, G, H. A, G, H. Okay, good. Angle two. This one. B. B, what? G. Uh-huh. A. Mm, okay. E, G, A. Okay, so you can tell these two angles are complementary. Simple? Okay, yeah. so the next question. The next question is, okay, so now, can you see this? This is your, this is your work, right? Can you see your work? Yeah. This is E, what do you mean by E? Are you looking for complementary angle again? Yes, you're looking for complementary, yeah. right? Okay, so when you're looking for complementary, so the first thing I look, so you're looking for a complementary, the first thing I look at is whether the two angles add up to, add to 90 degree, right? Am I right or not? Yeah. Okay, so you look at the question here. Which angle you are referring to? G, H, A. G, H, A. So you are telling me, this angle is 90 degree. Is this angle 90 degree here? No. If it's not, then how come you can tell me, then how come you extract this out then? If it's no. Hmm? Uh. Uh, what? Uh, what? Can you okay? No, answer my question. Can you see here? Okay, this angle we already, this angle here. Okay, this angle here we already taken for part one. So in this figure, which other angle is they add to ninety degree? Look at the question here.
Is this is this one 90 degree? No. No. So when you when you answer no, how come you you extract this out here? How come? When I ask you a question, I expect you to answer fast. Uh. Or you are telling me you don't understand why it's 90 degree. Do you understand why it's 90 degree? Or you just yeah, I, under, I understand what 90 degrees. Then how come you take this as 90 degree? How come? How come you take this as 90 degree? Hello. Who who says who says this is 90 degree? Who says? Did I label did I label 90 degree? Yeah, no. I label 90 degree. So if I never label it 90 degree, is it 90 degree? Uh, no. If it's not 90 degree, how can you tell how can you say this is complementary then? Okay, so now you realize your answer is wrong for this question. Okay, your answer is wrong. Then can you tell me from this figure here which one is 90 degree? It's not hard. Which one is 90 degree in this question? And basically it's quite clear cut. I expect you to answer my question fast. A, B, G. A, B, G. Okay, now, good. You say A, B, G, right? Yeah. I'm going to challenge, I'm going to challenge you then. So, A, B, G. So, let's say. A, B, G. Why wait? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Let's say you say ABG. So ABG is the add to 90? No. Why not? It is, it's, it's 90 degree, but they don't add to 90. Correct. So that's why at first, at the beginning of the lesson, can you, do you still remember? I want, to, I want you to differentiate. We need to find two angles that add to 90 degree. We don't want to find one angle. We don't want to find one angle, okay? We want to find two angles add to 90 degree. Therefore, ABG here, there is no, I mean, I don't see two angles here. So ABG does not work, okay? ABG is not the answer here. Then how? If ABG is not, then how? EAH. Is that right? B-A-H. You're talking about this one? B-A-H. You're talking about this one? 90? A-A. You know anyhow, okay? You know anyhow. So what you're trying to tell me is uh, this one, oh, this one, no. Then again, then you tell me this one. Ah, this one, no. Ah, then now this is the left. Are you, are you guessing? I don't want you to guess. What's the right way to find two angles is 90? What is the right way? You cannot see. What I teach you to do? What I ask you to do? To find 90? Find the... Yes. Yeah, they ask you to look. What they ask you to do? What I ask you to do? What instrument I ask you to use to find 90 degree? A ruler. Yes. I ask you to use a ruler parked it, all right? So you don't look, you don't look only. So let's say you have a ruler. Are you listening? Yeah. Let's say you have a ruler here. You parked it. Is this 90? BAH, is this 90? Mm -hmm. No, cannot. Park it here. AHG, is it 90? Is it 90 yeah. or not? Huh? AHG is 90. Oh, uh, no, no, no. So AHG is also not 90. So then continue. Keep using your ruler to find the 90 degree. Which one? So what you have tried is this one not, this one not, this one not, uh, this one yes. Okay, then you have to try one more. 
which one is 90? I mean, which one they add to 90? C. C, B, G. C, B, G, okay, let's try. Look, I park it here. Dun, dun, yes, 90 degree, can you see? Yeah, so if I take out C, B, G, let me extract C, B, G out. And I can see that CBG is it, split by this line BE. Am I right? Yeah. Ah, so once you split it, can you tell me the two angles they are complementary now? Yeah. Then what are you waiting for? So what are the two angles? CBE. So CBE. And then? And... GB. Correct. Then you just say these two are complementary. Okay. So no. this is this is the process. Okay. This is the process. You do questions, and when I ask you for answers, you don't just give me the answers. You don't just give me this. By the way, this is wrong. Right. You don't just give me this line of statement. Okay for whatever question you are expected to show the steps okay you don't just give me the answer i don't want answers i want your steps next time if you just give me the answers i'm going to ask you to repeat that question i'm going to you, you will get the punishment for me am i make my am i making myself very clear to you yeah what do i expect from you now on eh. if today is 14 15 of uh, 14 of august the working for every question. Can you repeat Can I have loud and clear to yourself? Statement. Can you repeat loud and clear to yourself? Um, we uh, need hmm. the working for every question. Exactly. You cannot have like one statement. Exactly. And like no working. When you have just one statement here, you know what I'm thinking? You are copying from your friends. Or you just anyhow, okay? You just like, I ask you, what's your age? And then you just tell me I'm uh, 18 years old, okay? I don't need one statement, okay? I ask you um, anything in math. You need to tell me what is your reasoning behind your answer. The same thing I teach you. I don't just teach you, oh, just memorize this, okay? I give you the meanings behind. What are the reasons? How you should do it? Step one, step two, step three. All right? Next. Yeah. GFC, CFE. So they add to, okay, let's see. GFC. So you are taking GFE. GFE. Okay, you are taking GFE. So this is GFC. Okay. And then this is CFE. Okay, good. Okay, by the way, supplementary, this is called supply. Yeah, okay, you can be lazy, but I realize whenever you're lazy, your spelling is very wrong. You still remember the deci, deci, uh, decimal? Yeah. You stop your this attitude. I expect you to write that. I expect you to write the full word out. No more, no more short form. It's called supplementary, it's not supply. It's not supply. Are you clear? Okay. When you give me all this, what, that's email, la, then supply, la, you are basically telling me you don't give a F. Okay? You don't care. Okay? I don't yeah. like your discount kind of attitude. I don't like your discount kind of attitude. Okay, and by the way, this question, clearly the question shows GHA is not 90 degree and you force it to be 90 degree. You look, GHA is not 90 degree. You force it to be 90 degree. And then you force to have this statement. You create it yourself. That's not the way. You have to use the ruler, okay? Park it against the angle to tell whether it's 90 degree. 
not oh i just randomly pick let's say i pick this angle let's say i pick this angle uh, i pick this angle ah i tell uh, then i say this is 90 degree oh yellow so this is 90 degree is this 90 degree no uh, but can i force it to be 90 degree so that i can answer the question uh, can i of course it's no okay the question shows clearly it's not 90 degree you don't force it to be 90 degree are you clear or not yeah okay good next no more short form okay then c a e c a e c a e c ah so it your this one is c a e right or c a f i'm sorry yes, yes. Ah, c a f or c d f i'm very confused or c d f now this one is a, it's A. Ah, C-A-F, C-A-F. We've got C-A-F in the question. We've got C-A-F in the question. This is also another, 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 um, how should I put it? This is also another um, ridiculous habit. Okay. I, I don't see CAF here. There's no CAF. Where's CAF? I don't oh, see CDF. A. Eh? If it's CDF, you don't draw it this way. CDF is not slanted this way anyway. CDF slanted which way? You look at my question. CDF uh, the, slanted the, the other side. This way, right? Yeah. C D F. And then the E is here, right? Yeah. I don't need you to Give me the perfect one, but at least it should look something like the question. You don't go and redraw until like you create your own. Why you create your own? While well, the question gives you in this manner, why you go and create your own? I don't understand. Okay. Yeah. Are you clear? Mm -hmm. And you confuse yourself even. <laughs> you can look. This is clearly D, and you write it anyhow, and it looks like an A. That's why you, you write A here. So from this question, I can see two things from you. Number one, you can create your own, okay? You can create your own. Clearly the line slanted this way. You can create your own. That's the number one ridiculous habit of you. The number two ridiculous habit of you. Clearly I write D here, okay? Can you see my D? My yeah. handwriting is D here, very clear cut. And you go and write until like it's an A. And then you go and confuse yourself and you write A. So from this homework, you start to show that your, you don't give a F attitude. When you don't give a F attitude, you are going to get it from us. I mean, from me and your mom. I am okay if you make mistake, but I don't like your, this attitude. Are you clear what we are not happy with? Yeah. What we are not happy with? Uh, attitude. What attitude you have now? Like, you don't, like, I don't care that that attitude. Okay, are you clear what is expected of you? Yeah. Okay, next. Uh, once again, this is D, B, D, A, uh, B, D, E. So you go and create your own, like you anyhow write, and then you go again, you write A. And then supplementary, you go and write supply. Okay, yeah. next. Opposite. Mm, this is opposite. So uh, let me let me see which one. C, J, D, and then what? H, J, E. Okay, so go. Then uh, I use some more. Let me see. Okay, you, you are using what? B, J, E. Where's B, J, E? Huh? B, J, E is opposite. 
Shemaine, you are doing opposite, right? Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah. Then here you are also doing opposite, right? Yeah. Where's the extract? Where's the, the diagram? Where's the diagram? Uh, because the diagram on top just like uh, two. Who says on top? One diagram for one question. Who say one diagram is for two questions? Who say? This is called what? Lazy attitude. Number one, don't care. Number two, lazy. Number three, anyhow. The question is not 90, force it to be 90. I cannot accept all these three. I can accept you make mistake, but I cannot accept your this anyhow. When you anyhow, when you are lazy, when you don't care, you always make mistakes. Okay. Why? Let me show you why you make mistake. Because you are lazy, that's why you make mistake. Let me draw it up. Let me label B, J, E, C, J, H. Okay, so since you have already used the C, J, E, C, J, E, okay, since you have used this side already, okay, so now, in fact, if I want to differentiate Okay. In fact, I want to make it easy for me to see. I'm not going to use black color all the time. I'm going to use the different color or I'm going to use different shape. This one, I use solid to different shape. Now I'm going to use this to different shape. So now, which angle is, is opposite? Are you, you are telling me C, J, H. Is it C, J, H? This angle one, this is angle two. So you are telling me angle one is CJH. Am I right? Yeah. Can you? Hey, no, I was again? waiting. Huh? Yes or no? Uh, yeah. I'm asking you, what is the name for angle one? CJ. CJH. I already circled the angle one for you. You better answer me fast. CJB. Okay. What is CJH? What is CJH? It's a straight line. Exactly. Exactly. So that's the reason why, that's the reason why I expect the three steps from you. When you skip things, when you are lazy, skip things, when you don't care, when you anyhow, you always make mistakes. So how many times I need to, need to, so, so who asked you to skip this question? Who asked you, you can use one diagram for two questions? Who, who say one? Hey, no what one? did I show you? What did I show you? Did I not make myself very clear? I show you what is my expectation, right? Yeah. Then how come you still give me this rubbish? Basically, I'm not teaching you knowledge at all. I'm basically just teach you to, to just from the beginning till now, okay? What I've been teaching you is not math. What I've been teaching you is all about your attitude. You have shown me all this rubbish. This is clearly A, D, E, right? And you go and write yeah. this as a, you go and write this as a, no. So that's not there is a question. This is F, D, E. 
and you go and write the 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 the, the D here as A. You can write it as A. Or at least it looks like an A. So you make mistake because you write this, you write the D as A. That's why you make mistake. That means that means what? That means you write it until you confuse yourself. Number one. Number two. I show you when you show me the steps, you better show me the angle. And you didn't. You skip. You skip this. This is lazy. This is. This one is. Don't care. Number three, just now this angle. This is CFE. Clearly, this angle CFE is not 90 degree. Okay? And you force it to be 90 degree. This is called anyhow. I'm not teaching you math from the beginning until now. I'm teaching, by the way, I don't need to be, well, I'm a math teacher. I'm not your mom. I'm not your, I'm not your, uh, your, your this maid or I, I don't need to do all this. I, I call it the, the, the nanny. I don't, I'm not a nanny, okay? Do you know what's the meaning of nanny? Yeah, it's like, Nice. Teach you how teach you how to how, how to be a good person that kind of stuff. I don't need. Yeah. I'm a math teacher. I don't. I I'm not here to teach you like you should. You 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 stop doing like having this don't care attitude, and you don't go and you you, you please not be lazy, and then of course not anyhow. I'm not teaching you math. The angle is not 90, you force it to, to be 90. Oh, I ask you to give me uh, three steps for each question and you skip one and you tell me, oh, because this diagram, it works for both. Lazy. This one, don't care. Anyhow, right. You write the D as the A. And just because of all this bullshit attitude and you make so many mistakes out of this question. And you 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 still you still answer me you 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 understand my expectation. You don't. What's happening to you? You tell me what's happening to you. Having all this don't care, lazy and then this anyhow. What's happening to you? I'm expecting an answer from you quick. Uh, I don't know. You don't know why you're anyhow. You don't know why you are lazy. You don't know why you don't care. If you don't know how you expect us to know. How you expect us to know. Yeah, questions like this. So let me check. A, B, H, G, where is A, B, A, B, H, G. You see, A, B, H, G, B, A, H, G. Yeah, good. So these two, this is Z. These two angle. Which two? Uh, B, A, G, okay, good. H, G. You see, you, you, you have the, so first step one is extraction. And then step two, labeling. Uh, then you get the step three, correct. Similarly, B, C, F, E. B, C, F, E. Yes. Uh, so this is B, C, F. Okay, good. And then this internal, so A, B, H, U, S, A, B, H, A, B, B, A, H, G. So uh, this is 
A ah A B H. Where got A B H? Look, where got A B H? What is this angle? What's this angle? Come, quick. Angle one, um, B A H. How come you give me A B H? Where got A B H? A B H. A B H, there's no angle. There is no A B H here. This is angle one. This angle one is B A H. Where is A B H? Where? Once again, anyhow. If one more time you're going to name the angle wrongly, you're going to get it from me, okay? I'm seriously fed up with you. Are you clear now? Yeah. You don't yeah, yeah, yeah here, and then you still give me the wrong angles again. Naming of angle, I'm really, really fed up with you already. Where is the ABH here? Tell me, where is ABH? Hello, I'm asking you, where is ABH? Ah. Uh, um, there's no ABH. Exactly, there's no ABH. There is no ABH. There is no ABH. And clearly, when you finish your question, you don't even care to check. You don't care to check whether you have labeling on naming the angle correctly or not. You don't even care. Can you stop your three attitudes or not? Don't care, lazy, anyhow. Can you stop or not? Can you stop? from today onward. How are you now? 12. You're 12 already. Come on, you're 12. And you still have all these three attitudes. You're in secondary school. Come on. You're not primary school student. You're still doing all this rubbish. The angle is not there and you can force it to be there. This angle is not 90, you force it to be 90 anyhow. Can you stop your these three attitudes or not? Can you? Yeah. Even when you say yes, your yes is not firm. Yes or not? Yes. If you show me this one of these attitudes again, I'm going to let your mom know. I don't know how your mom is going to punish you. But seriously, we are pretty fed up and angry with you because of you having these three attitudes. For me, it's very clear. You make mistakes, I'm okay. But you don't show me these three attitudes. Are you clear? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a nanny to you. I don't need to be a nanny. I, I'm not a nanny to any of my students except you. Okay. I don't know why you are so special. Okay. You better stop. Okay. This one is okay. C, D, G, E, G, E, G. Yeah. Okay. So next question. Let me go to your homework. Are you clear? Next time, if you send me more than two emails, you should quickly just call me. I don't accept any email from you. More than three, I don't care. I don't, I don't reply you already. Understand? Mm. What do you understand? More than two emails to send already. And do what? Just like, thank you for
Nice. You see, you send me so many emails, I don't even know which one is which one already. Totally confused. Okay. Yeah, is this the one? Looks like no one. Ah, this is the one. Okay, for this question, evaluate. So basically what you see here is you see 2K and you see 2T squared. And yes, by the way, the 2T inside there is a bracket, right? Can you see the bracket? Yeah. Ah, so if it's a bracket, so you better put your 3.5 inside the bracket. Okay. So what mm. do you have? Let me let me double check. 4 divided by uh, 7 squared. So it's 4 divided by. Can you help me check, check this out? Yes. 4 divided by 49. Is it 0 0.04? 0 0.08. 0 0.08. Now how about you get your point zero four? Hmm? Why well, you skip step? So whenever people you whenever people have this, right? Let's say people have this. You know their next step is always what? Two times two, four. And then what? Two times three point five is seven squared. So they should show this step before they go and write the answer. Right? Where is this step? Where is this step? Once again, I ask you to help me out. 4 divided by 49. Check it out. What's the answer? 0 0.08. 4 divided by 49. Yeah. You sure now? 0.08. Wait. Can you not see my screen? Who say 0 0.08? Who say? Uh... You still say, yeah, 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 yeah. What, yeah? Who say 0 0.08? Who say? Can I ask you? Did the question say you must put it in decimal number? Uh, no. Did the question say you must round it off? No. Then how come you help me? So, explain to me. Why you have why you go to two decimal places? Number one question. Why you go to two, two decimal places? That's number one. Number two, why you skip this step? Okay, number three. Why you cannot put it forward 49? Why? Why? So for four over 49 is not an answer? No. Why 4 over 49 cannot be an answer? Ah, uh, no, it can be an answer. Then if it can be an answer, why not you accept 4 over 49? Why you go and put give me 0 0.04? Okay, by the way, 0 0.04 is wrong. And you are allowed to use calculator. Shermaine, when questions that you can use calculator and you get it wrong, you should slap yourself. Can you slap yourself? I ask you to slap yourself. Wake up. You can use calculator and you still get it wrong. What the? What's happening? And some more the question never says put the answer in two decimal places. Why you need to give me two decimal places? I asked you two times. What is answer four over 49? You keep telling me 0 0.08. My calculator shows 0 0.081, da, 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 da. Yeah. Why? Why you give me 0 0.08? Why? I asked you for the answer. Why you give me 0 0.08? Did I say two decimal places? No. Then why you keep telling me 0 0.08? Who says 0 0.08? Who say 0 0.08? Who say 0 0.08? So you anyhow, because you like it. Just like, just like this question. Uh, 
this is this not 90 degree never mind i'm shermaine okay i i am shermaine that's why 90 degree right so just now the answer 0 0.08 da, 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 da. oh i'm shermaine never mind 0 0.08 never mind i'm shermaine i like it i like it that's why i can take it at 0 0.08 Because I'm shaming. I like it. Can you do like that? No. Then how come? You keep telling me so much. Wow. 4 over 49 can be the answer. Why? Simplest form what? Cannot. This one cannot. You cannot simplify some more. Okay. No? Then I stop it. And skip again. Why you skip? Lazy. Why you skip this step? Why you skip this step? Can you stop your these three attitudes? You better show me every single step. Are you clear? Yes. Next. Now ah, this one there is no bracket. Can you see this one? There is no bracket. What happened? Yeah. K is K, 2t, 2.35. So therefore this is 2 over 7. Can you help me out? 2 over 7. Two over seven. Yes. Two point two eight. Zero um, point two eight. Five seven one four two. Oh, you can leave it as two over seven. Then why zero point two eight? Tell me. Why zero point two eight? What's wrong? Uh. Why? I ask you a question, you just answer quickly. Uh, because you are so main, I like it, so I put anyhow. So it, you can even put it 0 0.3, right? Right? Uh, that's... you why you quickly answer my question i'm not answering my question what are you waiting for uh, you are what why you put your point to it just tell there must be a reason there's more Hello, you don't waste my time. Where is some more? Yes, I feel like the thing is, you know, the you feel like? is more, it's more um, correct, I think. Oh, cool. Okay. Let me answer your question. Very good. You have another question. So basically, you are saying, if I give you 2 over 7, uh, this, this, is, this is not good because is not decimal. Can this be a reason? Oh. Then it's not then 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 you answer yourself. Two over seven is the, the answer already. And some more if two over seven, if the answer is zero point two eight what? I I I did not catch. Two eight what? Two eight one something. Uh, da, 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 right. So yeah. the question is very simple. Between 2 over 7 and 0 0.28, da, 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 which one is easier to write? 2 over 7. Then you should use 2 over 7. That is the question you ask yourself. It's not like, oh, this is not good because it's not a decimal. You don't ask you this kind of question. The question you ask yourself is which, which one is more correct or which one is easier. 2 over 7 is more accurate than 0 0.28. Da, 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 da. The question never asks you to put two decimal places. By the way, when you have questions like this, 1.5 or 
one and a half or three over two, which you take. You can take 1.5, you can take one and a half. You cannot take three over two because three over two is not the simplest. You still can change it to mixed number. All right. Yeah. Like the next four letters. Let me see. Three, three, three. Okay, this is also three. This is three. Three. Four. Le, you give me three. What's my question? Are you look at what's my question first? I asked you for four, right? How come you yeah. give me three only? How come you give me three only? Mm. The last one is 33. Where's the last one then? Can you not see four? Can you see not see the word four? So you don't care, lah. you see? Don't care. Oh, I never answer a question. Never even care. I like, ask for four terms. Oh, Just oh. give me three and you stop. Oh. The question, the angle is not 90. Force it to be 90, right? Because I'm shaming. I like it. Right? Can you stop your all this attitude now? So which term here? I asked for the 61st. So how do you get the 61st? Uh, I didn't know how or, to do that. So, I, huh? so never mind. Is this the first term? This is the second term, right? Yeah. And this is the third term, right? So basically what mm. you are going to do is okay, the, 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 and you are the 61st. So what's the answer, right? So yeah. of course, of course, it doesn't make sense if you, you know, you, you know, yeah. if you keep uh, doing it like one by one, and... one by one, it doesn't make sense. But you can, yeah. but doesn't make sense, right? So there, uh, there must be yeah. a better, there must be a better way, right? Am I right? Mm. Okay, good. Let me show you the way. I'm okay if you make mistake, but I'm not okay if you say I don't care. Let me give you a simple example first. Um, three. Um. Five, seven, nine. So the difference is all or two, right? Yeah. Okay, the formula is this is the first, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth, right? So now yeah. they ask, let's say they ask for the uh, 21st. Okay, then you have to find out first. Okay, so instead of finding out first, first, I find out what's n first. Okay, so the formula is first number plus the difference times n minus one. So can I ask you, what is the first number in this question? What's the first number in this question? The first number is three. Hmm. What's the difference? Uh, plus two. Or, uh, or plus two, right? Very good. Yeah. And good, n minus one, done. I'm done already. So now they ask for, so this is the this is the nth term, right? Yeah. Then now I ask, what's the 21st term? What you're going to do? You're going to put, so this is the nth term, right? Yeah. So the 21, you put the 21 inside. Oh. So what's the answer? Three plus two times 20. So the answer is 43. So 43 is the answer. Are you clear? So you always make use of the formula. First number plus the difference times the bracket n minus one. Once you get the nth term out, once you get the nth term out, Okay, to find the 21st, you just replace the n with 21st. So similarly, this question is what? This 
question is the formula is can you remember the formula? The What's first, the formula? First number minus minus eight times 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 times. times. Plus the plus the difference. Plus the difference. You better memorize. Plus the difference and then. Plus difference and times. Times what? And bracket. Bracket and, and, and times. What? Times. And plus plus plus. It minus one. Have you memorized this? Uh, the formula? Yeah. What's the formula? First number mm -hmm. plus the difference mm -hmm. uh, times mm -hmm. bracket mm -hmm. and minus one bracket. Very good. Okay, so the formula is this. So let's do this question. Like the question I I ask you. So 12, 15, 18, okay. What's the first number? What's the first number? 12. 12. What's the difference? Uh, three. Three? Plus three. Very good. Plus three times N minus one. Done already. This is the nth term, right? So now yeah. they ask for what? The 61st. Now they ask 61st. So what you do? What you do? Uh, you replace the n. Yes. With the 62. With? 61. Ah, uh, 61. Yeah. So this is the step. So first, step one. This is step two. Then you're going to get your answer. What's your answer? So I expect you to show me this step. Okay? Quick. Go ahead. One nine. You need to use calculator. Those mm. are? One nine two. Very good. So that's the answer. Are you clear? Yeah. Mm. What's the formula again? Uh, first number uh -huh. plus mm -hmm. the difference mm -hmm. times bracket mm -hmm. n minus one bracket. Mm -hmm. What's the difference in this case? Plus three, right? Yeah. Not three, uh, it's plus three. Okay, good. Next. Side so mm. So you have so, 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 ah, yes. so you have this 12 minus this. So what is the answer for the third third? Then you replace the n with three. Mm, um, so the 12, 12, that means you replace the n with yeah, good. Then uh first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, this one. This one wrong. Eh? You better use your calculator and redo this question. Double check. Can me double check? Double check. Are you double checking now? Yeah. Hmm. Negative one six five. Okay, good. Hello. Write the algebraic expression for the... Huh? How come you put all things together until I cannot read? Huh? Who teach you to write like this? Hmm? Uh. I give it what? I give you like this. You go and help me put everything together until I cannot read. My goodness. Once again, you, you try to be lazy, right? Or you try to be funny, right? Or anyhow, right? I give you in this manner, very clear cut one. And you help me 
put things together. But anyway, let me just write the answer here first. Let me compare. Okay, so the first question. He says, subtract the sum of 2a. So sum of 2a. Can you see there is a sum of, right? So when you have a sum of, what you need to do? Bracket it. From, okay, so. So that means this minus the 2a plus 3b. What's your answer? How come the order is wrong? Okay. From, 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 from. Can you see from? From, so who, who, who start first? Who start first? Hello, who start first? 5A and 6B. Very good. So how many times you want to copy? Tell me the punishment. How many times? Uh, give me a number, quick. Give me a number. Uh, 50, thanks. Did you say 50? I said 30. Okay, good. Since you say 30, I add 20 because you deserve it. Do you think you deserve it? Do you think you deserve it? Yeah. Okay, good. So please copy the question. The question, uh, copy the question. Copy this statement. Copy this statement. And copy this statement and the answer. So 5A plus 6b bracket minus why why bracket because there is a sum of so like you say 30 okay 30 30 yes so i need you to copy this plus this so this plus this is one time you times 30 are you getting it you know what i'm expecting from you you know what is expecting from you or not yeah. Okay, 30 times. These two together. Okay, ma? Yeah. You know why, right? You know why you need to copy, right? Yeah. You don't know why? Uh? I, I said yes. I said yes. Oh, okay, good. Okay, divide the sum of this by the okay, sum. Let me see. Uh, the, uh, write, write down the answer first. Uh, the sum of okay, 10 plus 2b sum because bracket by this uh by means below so it's uh 0. 0.5 plus this is two okay let me look at the answer first sorry right then divide by two simplify simplify open open huh wait wait wait, wait. You, you draw here, right so 10 plus 2b divide by 2 so your first arrow what do you get 10 divided by 2, you get 5. Second arrow, what do you get? 2B divided by 2, what do you get? 2B divided by 2. Yeah, what do you get? 1B. Yes. How come you never do the this part? Okay, how come? Okay, you answer my question. You already to change it to the divide format, right? Yeah. How come you put it back to fraction format again? What did I say the last time? Last time I have this question. Right? What I teach yeah. you to do, do it the division way, right? Am I right? Mm -hmm. Once you do it the redivision way, what's the next step? Open Arrow, the right? Yeah. Open the bracket, right? Yeah. So the first you get one. The second, you get two A. You, 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 basically, this is the steps, right? And then how come now you show me this? Divide format already change it to fraction format. What the, what are you doing? What are you doing? Fraction. Divide. Open bracket. These are the steps. 
what is this? Divide format, then fraction again. You are not following my, you are not following already. That's why you get it wrong. Every time you are not following, you are, you are wrong. Can you follow or not? Can you follow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If next, if next time you don't follow, I ask you to copy, you're going to get it from me, okay? I want you to follow my steps very, very closely. If you somehow can do it your way, you can use your step, I'm going to punish you. You will get it from me. Are you clear? Yeah. What's my expectation? For all questions. The correct order. The correct order only? Um, the correct order, the correct formula. And then must simplify when needs to be simplified. Then what about here? Then must open bracket when need to open no. bracket. No, I'm not talking about this. I'm saying you must follow whose steps? Your step or my step? Your step. Can you skip? No. So what is expecting from you? Uh, can I skip the step? Then must follow your steps, not mine. Very good. Next question. Multiply the product of this to the sum of this. So, first bracket, second bracket, right? Why are you going to do all this? This is times, right? Yeah. Then I thought you should get first arrow, second arrow. Where is your arrow in this question? Where? You are telling me you just open the bracket, just open the bracket. So you are saying this. So when you have this, you just open the bracket. Oh, open the bracket. You, you, are, you are telling me this is called opening bracket? Uh, no. Now you are showing me this one. Yeah, you compare. You can compare your work to my work. Yeah, you compare. When you times, you open the bracket, first arrow, second arrow, where is your D-step? Where? Mali? I did not put it in. You never even show me this step, first and second. Similarly, this is first step, second step. You never show the steps. Mayo. you. Okay, you're gonna get it for me if you never follow my step next time. Okay, let's have a five minute break. Okay. Mm. See you in five minutes.
Hello, I'm back. Can you hear me? Hold on, ah. Just to, let me make sure you can hear me. Can you hear me now? You need to unmute yourself. Yeah, I can. Mm, good. Okay, back to. Back to here. Okay, the end term, okay, number sequence is this five to seven. So you just put the seven inside. Lo. Then uh, find the first four term of the sequence. The first four term, so the, this is one, this is two. Correct. Draw the next pattern. So E, uh, uh, san, 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 si, si. Eh? You cannot see the pattern. Ah. You are wrong. Eh? You cannot tell the pattern. Ah. Can you see the pattern or not? Then what is this? So basically, they have one dot here, right? Mm -hmm. For the first one. Then after that, they have two dots, right? Can you see? Two dots. Yeah. And then they have three dots, right? Yeah. Three, three, three. No, so basically, this is this is the first one. So one dot. This is the also second the one. the fourth one so is supposed to have dots. four dots. So basically, the fourth one should have four dots. So how many four dots? Four, four dots. Are you getting it now? Ew. Okay, so this is the pattern, no? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Why? 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 C, D, A, B, C, D, E. So B, D, E. Ah, okay. This is a right angle triangle. Huh? And then what is the area of the right angle triangle? So the right, uh, the, so it's 10. Huh? Which one you are finding? You are finding this area, right? Yeah. So this area is, wow, the, your drawing is really bad. I need to look at my drawing. So for BDE, so let's say for BDE, so for BDE, so you, you are supposed to look at this BDE. So B, D, E. So what's the length here? 7 cm, right? I mean, the height is 7 cm. So what's the length here? ED. So what is here? Is it 8? Here to here. Is it 8? No, leh. it's not 8. Leh. So what's, what's the length for AD? I mean, ED. Can you tell or not? Can you tell or you cannot tell? Uh, it means here to here. Here to there. Yeah. Total is 10. Can you see? Total is 10. Uh-huh. Total is 10. Okay. And then yeah. this one is 8. Uh-huh. Oh. So total is 10. This one is 8. So what does that mean? So that means this one is how much? Two. Yeah, these two add to two. Yes. So for this question, let me get it out. Let me get the figure out.
Let me get the question out first, huh? You don't see the question already? Uh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, the total is 10. And then somehow this one, if you need, if you need the, if you need a, a color, a highlighter to help you, you can actually do that. So this one yeah. is eight. This is eight cm. So therefore, this one, and this one, is add up to two. So you have two of them, right? Yeah. So one of them is. So these two add up to. So this one, this, this. Plus, this is 2 cm. So one of them is how much? This part and this part, this part, this part add to 2 cm. So one of them is how much? So one of them is how much? Um. One. Huh? Yes. Why? One plus one is two. Right? So therefore, one of them is one cm. So that means this part is one. Okay? So this part is one. Okay? So therefore, if you extract this B, D, E out, the height is seven cm. So E, D is how much? This is one cm already. Until here, here, okay. So here is one cm, and then here to here is eight cm. So one plus eight is nine. Okay. Therefore, you use you use what you use the. You understand? Yeah. You understand why nine? Why nine? Because. The that. Huh? Why nine? Why not eight? Why not ten? Why nine? Uh, can I close the window? Why? Why? It's ring. And quickly, click and do it and come back. Okay. Why nine? Why nine CM? Why nine CM? Quick. Answer my um, question. Hmm. Um, ACM is the line down. Here to here is it. Okay. Yeah, yes. And then, and then this small part. Here, ma, the, the small part is one CM. Correct. So therefore, you so, add it up. Yeah. Yeah. You add it up so you get nine CM. Okay. So therefore, uh, area of triangle is half times base times height. So half times base nine height. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I will let you use the calculator and do it. Okay, no need to do it now. Now, next okay. side here. Name the entire figure above. What's the name of this figure? Huh? 
name means whether it's a triangle, whether it's a rectangle, that kind of name, what A, B, C, D, wrong. This is not name. So what kind of shape is this? The entire thing. What is it called? Hello, what is it called? The triangle. Of no, this whole thing. A, B. You are telling me this shape is called triangle? Uh, no, that's not a triangle. So what, what, what is this? A. Uh, is there a trapeze here? How do you spell? If you spell it wrongly, you are wrong. How do you spell trapeze here? Quick. Trapeze. Yes. T R A P E. You can give me. I U M. Trapezium. Okay, you better go and double check the, 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 the spelling. Okay, so this is called trapezium. Okay, you are right. This is a trapezium. Next. So the total area of the figure above, how do you find the total area of this figure? How? So you need to use, what strategy you use? You can do it this way. You extract it out first. Do it one by one. You still remember this strategy? Yeah. The strategy is called divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. That means you divide the, the entire figure into um, um, familiar shapes. So, I think you can find this one. This one is 1 cm. This one is 7 cm. This one is 8 cm. This is 7 cm. This is 1 cm. This is 7 cm. So basically, you need to find out 1, 3, and 2. Then after that, area of 1, area of 2, area of 3. And basically, you just add them up. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. You forget the strategy of reading. Do you forget this strategy? Uh, kind of. Yeah. So going forward, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you such question again. You better use this strategy. Next question. Draw. Okay. Supplementary. So you need to label this. This one don't need to label. You label also can, but no need. What's okay. the supplement? This is not zero. This is 90 degree. How do you draw zero? Okay, in, okay, by the way, in order to draw zero, right? So, so the supplement of like, so first you draw the 180 out first, right? Zero is just one point with one line. So this is 180 degree. This is zero. Understand? Yeah. Yeah. So you basically you need to show this. Okay. okay? Your this one is no wrong. This is 180. So this is how you draw zero degree. Are you clear? Yeah. What's the supplementary 45? Very good. For the 120 in fact, you need to draw 240. Let me double check. Uh, okay. 154. Okay. Reflex of 35. Mm. Mm. Okay, so this one all rubbish. You know why, right? H-G-A. H-G-A. This one A-G-H. -A -G huh? You see your A-G-H? How come both A-G-H is also this, H-G-A is also this? That's why I don't want you to do it this way. I want you to show me the steps. Are you clear? Mm. Mm. In fact, your this figure is drawn much better than, than the, the other one. Okay. Oh. Anyway, never mind. Okay, the tally. How many students score C? Huh? Score C? 
，哦 ，six， 是吗？你说 ，Yeah， six。Five students score six, right? So, so your answer is what? So you have how many six? Two, right? So, oh. You just, you just do what? How many students score more than six? More than six, you see? You you score more, score more than. You see, you skip, you skip. Oh, you skip the word. You you. Uh, you copy also copy wrongly. Oh, don't care. So score more than six. So more than six. So that means from here onwards five. Correct. Okay. You confuse me. I don't want the hairy line. How come you give me hairy line? No ruler is it? Eh, no. Yeah, you have no ruler or what? Or what? So you give I me all these hairy. You give me all these hairy line. That means don't care. Or lazy again. No, I try to draw a straight line, but you don't need to try. You just use a ruler. You definitely get a straight line. I don't know why you need to try. You don't try. You use the ruler. Definitely, you get a straight line. You understand me or not? I didn't use a ruler at that time, so you just need to use a ruler. You surely get a straight line. You don't use a ruler, no matter how many times you try, you cannot get. Am I right? Am I right or not? Yeah. Then, what you show me here is lazy. Don't even want to use ruler. Hairy stuff. What's the average score? How do you find average score? Total, total score. Divide by number of how many numbers here? How many number here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Huh? 不是吗 What? ？What's the average score 吗 ？Where's your formula? To average score is equal to total score equals to number of items. So what's the total score here? Eighty-two. No. Total score is you need to add up all this, all this score. What's all this score? It's not from this table. Is from all the scores. You, you see, once again, you make the mistake again. <clears throat> I remember you make this mistake last week. You see, you can. I asked you to do what? I asked you to write down the formula. So average score is equal to total score. I asked you to write down the formula. Total score number of items. In this case, what's the total score? Add all this up. So basically, I should see one plus so one plus three plus four plus five, all the way until plus four. That's the total score. Then how many how many items here? One, two, three, four, five. Da da da. I think it's twenty. So therefore, total score divided by twenty, then you will get average score. Are you clear? Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know who teach you this. And divided by five, I don't know. I really don't know who teach you this. <clears throat> I'm not the one. So for this question, for this question here, the average score. This question is total score. You better write down the formula next time. Divide by number of items. So what's the total score here? How do you get total score here? How do you get the total score here? Shame. How do you get total score here? Need to add all the. And what? At which one? The the one on top. The five, five, four. Five the plus one. five. I O. Plus four. I O. Plus six. Plus until, seven. Until until the end. Until the end six. That's the total score, right? 
The number yeah. of items. How many items are here? How many items? How many items? Eight. Uh, yeah, which one you are counting? The one table. The average score is from total score and number of items. That thing to do with the table. How many times you want me to say? It? Every score has nothing to do with the table. Every score is all about all things here. The question. So how many items inside the, this question? Are you counting? Yeah. Are you done? Almost. Fourteen. Yes. The error score, right, come from the question, not coming from the table. This table, this table is for you to tidy up things only. The table here, right, is for you to tidy things up. You cannot get the answer from the table, never. So the error score is total score divided by number of items. So you have 14 items here. So they were 14, divided by 14. Then you get an average score. Ah, then you go and find out the rest. Now, next question. You don't show me this rubbish again, okay? Average score, not from the table. Not from table. So four out of 52. Ah, you got 52 students, man. You got 52 students, man? You got 52 students, man? Where do you get the 52 from? Hello. You are doing rubbish here. Where do you get the 52 from? Who teach you 52? I added oh. it Who say you are add it like this? Who say? Who say? Where do you learn this from? Where do you learn it from? No. Answer my question. Let me get the question out. You are, you are not doing the things correctly. You are doing rubbish. You better learn it once and get it right the next time. Okay, let's go through this question one by one. Okay, the table you have no you have no problem finding. So the table is just a table. You just fill up, okay? You just fill up, all right? But when you answer all these questions, there is nothing to do with the table. Are you clear? Yeah. Okay, when you answer question, you don't need to use the table. Are you clear? Yeah. Okay, let's... How many students score more than six? Count. More than six, right? So more than six, that means anything more than six, you count. Five below, no count. Five below, four below, no, six. Cannot. Seven, yes. Five, no. Three, no. Four, no. Seven, yes. Eight, yes. Ten, yes. Four, no. Nine, yes. Six, no. So how many? One, two, three, four, five. So answer five. Are you clear? Yeah. Okay, next. Don't get the answer from the table. Get it from what? Get it from here. Are you clear? Yeah. The table is just for you to uh, build. You don't read the table to answer the question. Now, what's the average score? I talked about it. Total score divided by number of items. So in this case, total score is five plus five plus 
everything until six divided by the total number of items is one, two, three, two, four, six, eight, ten, fourteen. Are you clear? How to find yeah. average score? Can? Yeah. Okay, good. So let me quickly find out what's the average score in this case. Let me use my calculator. Okay, it's a fine point. Okay, for this question, right? Um, you are supposed to use the fraction, but I, I, okay, I'm using a phone. My phone cannot show me the fraction, so I cannot show you the fraction, okay? Okay. I think the fraction is 83 divided by 14. So you need to get it into a mixed number, okay? My phone cannot show me the mixed number, so never mind. So if you show it two decimal places, it's nine point, uh, five point nine three. So to two decimal places. I'm not saying you need to express it in two decimal places. I'm just showing you, because my phone okay. it cannot give me the mixed number. I'm supposed to show the mixed number. Okay. 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 Now good. So now I need to answer the question. What is the percentage of student who score more than average score? Now I need to count the number of student who score more than five point nine three. So I need to count how many score more than 5.8393, right? Yeah. So more than average score. So more than average score is more than this one, no? 5.93, okay? So five, not more than, five, not more than, four, not more than, six is more than, seven is more than, five is not, three, no, four, no, seven, yes, eight, yes, 10, yes, four, no. Nine, yes, eight, six, yes. So how many? Two, 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 one. So two, 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 so seven. So seven out of how many? Seven out of how many is more than 5.93? Seven out of how many here? Seven. Seven out of how many? Hello, read the question. How many? Fourteen. Huh? Fourteen. Yes. So this is the fraction. So how do you change the fraction to percentage? Times hundred percent. Very good. I'll leave it to you. C, this is part C. So the answer is 50%. Okay. Now, yeah. find the percentage of students who score more than six. Yeah. Once again, clear this. Do it another time. I'm doing D already. More than six. More than six. Okay. So five, no. Five, no. Four, no. Six, no. Seven, yes. Five, no. Three, no. Four, no. Seven, yes. Eight, yes. Ten, yes. Four, no. Nine, yes. Six, no. So how many? One, two, three, four, five. Five out of how many? How many? Are you counting? Five out of fifteen. Huh? Fifteen fifteen numbers here. Are you recounting? Fourteen, 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 fourteen. I thought just now you say fourteen already. How come now suddenly you say fifteen? Uh fourteen. I say wrong. So how do you how do you convert to percentage? Times hundred percent, right? Yeah. I leave it to you. Okay. Find the fraction of students who pass the quiz. Score at least four. Okay. Come back to the question. At least four. At least four means four is included or not included. At least four. Yeah, it's included. Four is included. Okay. So five. Okay. Five. Okay. Four. Okay. Six. Okay. Seven. Okay. Five. Okay. Three. Not okay. Four. Okay. Seven. Eight. 10, 4, 9, 6. So how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. How many, num how many numbers are here? 14. 
variable. So this is the fraction. This is E. So do you know how to get all the answers for all questions? Yeah. Are you supposed to look at this no. table? No. No, always come back to the question. Are you clear? Mm. Okay, good. Next. Mm, this one, percentage. Where's your percentage sign? So the answer what? should be five five zero percentage. Yeah, switch percentage ma. So your answer should be this one, right? Yeah. Mm. This one, yeah, good. Decimal, good. This one, decimal, good. Mm. This one is uh, double conversion, very good. Mm. Mm, this one. Mm. 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 So the sign cannot be wrong for this question. Okay, the rest can be. I'm okay if you're wrong, but the. Uh, Okay, this one is good. Okay, final question 14. Danny has this, times in, very good. Times in, first arrow, second arrow, very good. This part is Danny. And then Eddie has more, so must plus, very good, plus. So when you plus, you have, mm, somehow, this is Eddie, three, so you times in. Mm, somehow. Okay, very good. So question 14a, first time, correct. Yeah, this one simplify first. Charmaine, you tell me mm. two times 12 is 10. No. 10? How come it's 10? Where do you get 10? If next time you are going to do this one more time, I'm going to, you are, you are going to get it from me. If you make this kind of mistake, like, Use your calculator. You can use your calculator now. This is 24. Is 24. Wait, 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 24 or minus 24? You better tell me. 24 or minus 24? I'll actually use your calculator. Minus 24. So where do you get your 10, minus 10 from? Uh... Okay. I cannot accept. You use the calculator and you still get it wrong. What you what you could have done is you basically uh, you write minus two times child, but you go and key in this rubbish. Okay, this is the question I want to go through with you. Spend twenty five in the morning, okay, and then she spent x less in the afternoon, x less than minus, and then what? Uh, in the evening, so she spent two times that of afternoon, two times of afternoon so you times in so it's okay good so then you add up all so how you add up uh, 25 you know, minus okay good then uh similar term okay yeah good this question is very good ha huh, this is the question i want to go through you start with m right yeah so everything here must have m also mm -hmm. I talked about it last, last week. If you start with M, every fraction here also must have M. Okay, let me double check. Are you clear? Yeah. If you start with T, what happened? Everything here also must have? T. Yes. If you start with 1, what happened? Every number will have a one. So every, okay. So what I'm trying to say, if you start with M, you need to have M. You start with T, you need to have T. If you start with one, no need, because one is a number. One is a number, right? So everything must have a one. But when you times one, 
what you end up with? The same number. Times one? Yes, so that's why you don't need to write the one out. Are you clear? Yeah. Okay, good. So now, everything must with M. Huh? Are you clear now? Yeah. Okay, good. Now we continue. So, Shemin, I give you the question in this format. In this format, huh? like uh -huh. A, B, C, D, uh, vertical. Uh. Yeah. You don't help me do this. No way you're going to help me do this. I don't accept this. Are you clear? Mm -hmm. Don't combine. You just give me one line by one line. Okay. How much did she spend in total in terms of that? Total spending is this one plus, that means morning plus the afternoon. Lah, right? Yeah. So, morning plus afternoon is how much? So morning it's plus afternoon. 625M plus 1 over 5M. Why there is an M here? Because the question got the M. Correct. So, therefore, morning and then afternoon you add up, then you use your calculator, just give it to them. Papi, uh, of money spent in the morning to total. So, morning is this. The total spending is here, ma. It's not two. I don't know why you add two. When you look at your question, your, your, your answer is definitely wrong. So wrong. Let me get your let me get your this question out. Let me get this question out. Okay. So number one. The number one thing I want you to take note is you start with M here, so everything also must have M. Here. Right? So now yeah. the question is how much did she spend in the in total? So spending is morning and afternoon, right? Mm -hmm. Then how come you go and add? So if you add these two together, I can understand. How come you still go and add these two together? How come you go and add the left? And then I don't know why you go and add one. Where, where, where is your one from? I don't understand. This one is morning, right? Yeah. This one is afternoon, right? Yeah. Shaman, can, can you close your door? Okay. Did you close your door just now? Uh... No. Okay. Okay. Now, you know what's my expectation? Mm. What's my expectation? Cannot. Um. Hello, I'm asking you what's my expectation? Answer my question. Ah, uh, or uh, what? What's my expectation while doing our lesson? Cannot skip that about having our lesson. I tell you, we uh, should try to have a quiet environment, right? That's why you are staying in your this. What room are you in now? The storage area there. Yeah, how come you go, go and open your door? How come your father is speaking beside you? And I, okay, of course, I cannot say, ask your father to shut up, right? But uh, he's in the kitchen. There's nothing wrong with your father. Everything is wrong with you. You should close the door. So that can minimize the noise. Are you clear or not? Yeah. Why you keep keep trying to cross the line? I set all the requirements. I give you my expectation and you cross, you always cross the line. You never meet my expectation every single time. 
whether it's during our work or whether it's having our lesson. Back to the question. Which one is morning? Which one is afternoon? Which one is... So how do you get total spending from the branch? Tell me. You add them up. Add what up? The number. Stop talking rubbish. I'm asking you in English. How, what is total spending? You add what up? Add the spending up. Where is the spending? Which one? The Monday. Yeah, the morning. The... Morning. Morning here is 6 over 25. M. Next. Then at the afternoon. Next. Then the left. Huh? Left is spending. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I do. Left, left, left is spending. No, 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 no. Left is called saving, not spending. So do yeah, you add yeah. or do you don't add? No, I said no. You don't no, sleep, walk. Already. You sleep, walk. You're dreaming. You're not supposed to add the left. Yeah. After. So where do you get the plus one from? Explain. What about this plus one? Do you need to add plus one? No. What is the M here? The M here is the money you start with. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. This one is morning spending. This is afternoon spending. This is left. Left is cost saving in another sense. So to find total spending, you just add these two up. That's it. That's it. Right? Then you just find out this. So you are going to get what? You are going to get 11 over 25 M. Why do you need an M here? Because the question got the M. Correct. And then they say the ratio of money spent in the morning. Morning is 6 over 25. Morning 6 over 25. M. Why do you need an M here? Because the question starts with M. And then the ratio of morning to total. Morning to total is here. Wait. I think you skip the word. It's called total what? spending, not total. Let me double check whether you skip the word. I think it's total spending. Ah, to the total. Where? Actually, total. Here, the total is total spending or total? So what do you understand this word, total? Total, that means the whole thing. The whole thing, that means where? In this, in this branch, the word total means what? The Which one? Morning, afternoon, there. Mm -hmm. So basically, the total is morning, yeah. afternoon, yeah. and the left. left. That's all? Do you need to add one? No. Yes, no need. So basically, the total is spending plus. In English, is spending plus. Saving. They give you the total, right? Yeah. How come it's 14? Ah? ah, yes, it's 14. Okay, good. So it should be 1M. Okay, then you just simplify this. This will be the answer for B. C. Uh, fraction of money left. So fraction of money left is here. 14 over 25. So is Okay, how come the part C there is no M? Can you explain? Uh, I didn't put the M because I didn't know you had to put the M. No. The, the question asked for what? The uh, question asked for... The question asked for... The question asked for... The of money left. Stop. So the... So basically, you should have M here. You should have M here. You also have M here. So now, the question asks for the fraction of money left. So basically, you should be looking at this, right? 14 yeah. over 25 M, right? You should be looking at this, right? Uh -huh. Am I right? The question asks for what? Fraction of money left. Repeat the keyword. What's the keyword here? Fraction of money left. 
Keyword, one word. Left. Yeah, of course it's left, but the keyword. Uh, fraction. Fraction, right? Can you repeat? Fraction. What's the keyword here? Fraction. Fraction. So you take the fraction or you take the or you take the whole thing? Uh, the fraction. Yes. Because the question asked for fraction. Yes. So you give it you give the fraction 14 over 25. So therefore, no need M for part C. Are you clear? Yeah. Are you clear when you need M, when you do not need M? Yes. Okay, good. Last one, the amount of money left at the end. So the amount of money, so it's 14 over 25 M. Why the last one need M? Why the because answer for the last question? They never say fraction. Yes. Okay, if they ask for percentage, do you think you need to give it an M? Let's say no. the question changed to percentage. You don't give M because they ask for percentage. You just give the percentage. Am I right? Yeah. Mm, okay, good. Okay, so we still, okay, time's up. Just nice. Okay, so. Do you still have additional revision materials for me? If not, I will just set another paper similar to this. I got one about pie chart because there's this one. Never mind. We will. Okay. When is your exam? Uh, 20. 20. <clears throat> Let me see. Okay. We will have a lesson, uh, extra lesson on the 19th. 19th. Yeah, so basically you just send me that pie chart revision table, I mean, mm -hmm. revision material, we will go through it. Mm -hmm. I will, okay, so you send it today. I will give you the assignment by Monday night. Then you will okay. do it before our lesson on 19. Are you clear? Are you clear? Mute yourself. Yeah. Mute. yeah. Okay, yeah. so send yeah. me your additional revision materials by okay. tonight, I will okay. give you the assignment by Monday night, and then we will do a lesson on 19 before your exam. Are you clear? Yeah. Okay, summary. Don't care, lazy, anyhow, you stop all these three, can you? Yeah. Okay, is your mom around? No. Okay, never mind. I will uh, speak to your mom uh, separately. Okay? Okay. Mm, okay? Mm, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mm.